let me move on to the introduction part on the topic pie chart right friends remember that if you take a pie chart there are two types one is the pie chart that is based on percentage and the second type is pie chart that is based on degree right now we are going to see percentage is easy right so now we are going to see the pie chart that is based on degree where these types of question can be definitely seen in ssc exams and clerk exams and also in PO exams where mostly PO exams are concentrating on this degree based problems right so friends remember that if it is a degree based problem where the students are lack of time on solving these types of problems right why because they doesn't know a proper methodology to solve these types of questions so i am ready to help you now to solve whatever question that is based on degree within two or three minutes not talking about one question i'm just talking about the entire di can be solved within three minutes but only one thing is that you should watch this video entirely then go to my website which is feelfreetolearn.com then after going into it data interpretation kindly watch the remaining two sums which i am going to teach you now in this topic pie chart so if you watch those two sums you can get a clear idea on the topic that is a base based on this uh, degree problems right so friends let me move on to this question if i ask you uh, just think that friends this is one of the pie chart and uh, a salary is 60000 and he is spending some of the amount on transport food education and the, all the values are given in degree if they ask you what is 72 degree for food friends see here sometimes think that the first question in di is if they ask you what is the amount that he spends on food here the amount is 72 degree if i ask you what is the amount where 70 to 80 percentage of the students they will go for a formula J by converting how uh, there is a formula called uh, 72 uh, 72 degree divide by 360 into 100 and then they will convert into percentage so after converting into percentage they used to find out of 60,000 the percentage what is an amount that he is spending on food whether it is required friends this is needed but this is not at all needed for solving in a competitive exam right you are writing a competitive exams you should be faster on solving it how to be faster on solving this a uh, degree based problem is only one thing if you see the degree based problem spend first 30 seconds properly you are going to solve a DA that is five question though it is on PY exams or a clerk exams that is the upcoming SBA clerk exams whatever be but if you see a degree based question in data interpretation first 30 seconds is most important that only i am going to teach you now friends see here we know that this is pie chart that is the entire angle will be the entire degree will be 360 degree got the idea so we can clearly say that this pie chart is 360 degree and they have said that the overall a salary is 60000 so i can say one thing that 360 degree is equals to 60000 right got the idea right second thing friends clearly watch if i convert all the degrees into percentage then we can guarantee that if 360 degree is 60,000 though we convert all the degree into percentage then definitely it will be 100 percentage right there won't be a 90 or 60 why because it is 360 degree so if you convert all the values into percentage that will become 100 percentage so i can say that if it is 360 degree is 60,000 where 100 percentage is also 60,000 got the idea so don't waste their time by calculating by using those unnecessary formulas in your exams so what i am going to do now just listen carefully this is for degree and this is for percentage just spend 30 seconds in every exam like this solving all the remaining five question is so easy now listen carefully right see here if 360 degree is equal to 60,000 where 360 divide by 2 that is 180 degree friends got the idea 360 degree 60,000 what about 180 degree that is half of 60,000 half of 60,000 will be 30k friends got the idea we are not kids to write 0000 in our exams go for 30k 2k 3k that is 3000 30k 30,000 right don't waste your time by putting 000 here right so i can clearly say that if 360 degree is 60,000 then 180 degree will be 30k how this 360 becomes 180 divide by 2 so we know that 100 percentage is 60,000 if i divide this 100 percentage by 2 that is 50 percentage is equal to 30k right see here again divide this 180 degree divide by 2 then we can say that 90 degree where 90 degree is 15k 
friends if 90 degree is 15 K we know that 15 percentage that is 50 percentage is 30 K so if I divide this 50 by 2 then 25 percentage friends Got the idea? So 100 percentage 60,000 that is the 360 degree. Where 50 percentage 180 degree is 30 k, right? So 25 percentage 90 degree is 50 k. So 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 easy. Just see here. Eh, if you get 90 degree divide by two, what is mean with 45 degree? If 45 degree divide by two, 15 divide by two is 7.5 k. Where if I divide this 25 percentage divide by two, then it is 12.5 percentage so 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 easy and we have calculated 100 percentage 50 percentage 25 percentage 12.5 percentage but don't stop by calculating this try to find what is 10 percentage what is one percentage that is enough right divide this 100 by 10 i can get 10 percentage so i can clearly say that 100 percentage is 60,000. then 10 percentage will be surely 6k right so if 10 percentage is 6k just listen carefully 10 percentage is 6k if we need to get this as 10 we need to divide by 10 right if 100 is divided by 10 we can get 10 percentage so similarly divide this 360 by 10 if i divide this 360 divided by 10 that it will become 36 degree so where we can clearly say that 10 percentage is 36 degree that 36 degree will be 6k so friends got the idea how i have calculated if 36 degree equal to 6k listen carefully if i divide this 36 by 2 then it will become 18 degree so if 18 36 degree is 6k then 18 degree will be 3k so i have divided this 36 degree divided by 2 so if i uh, convert this 10 percentage divide by 2 that will become 5 percentage friends so so easy if 10 percentage is 6k what about one percentage one percentage will be definitely i can say 600 if one percentage is 600 we can say this 36 degree can be written as 3.6 degree right so if you spend this time just 30 seconds for writing this before solving a da solving all the remaining five questions will be so 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 easy right so only thing is that you should be faster on this remember that whatever value they have given in 360 degree first divide by 2 180 divide by 2 90 divide by 2 45 so after getting it go for 10 percentage that is dividing the 360 degree divide by 10 so that will become 36 degree and where 100 percentage will become 10 percentage so after finding 10 percentage divide this by 2 so we can get 5 percentage after calculating this let me move on to the pie chart See here friends, if I ask you what is the amount that he spends on food, what is the degree there? There is 72 degree, but here we didn't find any 72 degree, right? Friends got the idea, there is 72 degree, but here we didn't calculate any 72 degree here. But make sure that we have found 18 degree, 18 into 4, what about 18 into 4? 18 into 4 is 72 degree. Right? So 18 into 4 is 72 degree. We know that 18 degree is 3k. So 18 into 4 becomes 72. So 4 into 3 becomes 12k. So we can clearly say that this 72 degree is 12,000. Right? So if I ask you anything, go for this 36 percentage. What about 36 percentage? We know that 18 degree is 3k. 18 into 2 is 36 then 3 into 2 is 6 so i can say that 36 percentage with the 36 degree where he is spending on orphanage will be 6k friends easy right see here what about what is the amount that he spends on shopping shopping is 54 degree we know that 18 into 3 is 54 so we can clearly say that 3k into 3 that is 9k so 9k he is spending on shopping Right. So, under transport, 90 degree transport, what is 90 degree transport, where 90 degree transport is 15k. So, I can clearly say that the transport that he spends is 15,000. So, friends, solving these types of question in our exams is so easy. But though I teach this sum, where 50 to 60 percentage of people will ask me one thing. If it is 51.54.1 degree, what can I do? Right. So, whether calculating is difficult or not no calculating is not at all difficult you should remember another one thing that just take any degree right any value or something if i'm going to take 18 degree is 3k friends remember that 18 degree is equals to 30,000 what is 18 degree is 3,000 right so 18 degree will be 3,000 we need to find what is 51.54.1 degree so i can say that 51 54.1 degree is equals to x Friends got the idea. If it is all the values are in 
that is integer we can directly go for this procedure if all the values are in a decimal point after finding this go for these kinds of procedure will be easy why i am taking 18 degree you can take 360 180 whatever be that but try to uh, take a small value that will help you to uh, solve this sum faster right so where 18 degree is 3054.1 degree is equal to x now cross multiply it so 18 into x is equal to 54.1 into 3000 so x is equal to 54.1 into 3000 divided by 18 so if i calculate this i can surely get what is 54.1 degree so friends kindly go and watch all the remaining four sums in my website that i have taught you only four or five sums but if uh, that five sums covers you uh, 80 to 90 percentage of the main sums uh, that can be asked in this pie chart so kindly go to my website and watch all the remaining videos that is based on the pie chart friends don't kindly search in my youtube channel why because some videos are written so better go to my website and watch whether you are watching in tamil or english so it will be easy for you